I'm uh, Neil Gross, uh, professor in head and neck surgery and director of clinical research at MD Anderson Cancer Center. Head and neck cancers affect patients in the middle of everything. Uh, you know, many of these cancers are in the mouth, uh, which affects speech, uh, eating, breathing. It's where people are seen, so there's a lot of morbidity uh, to cancers in this area, and patients have a lot of need for expertise and, and help to cure the cancer and to maintain high quality of life. My approach to patient care is really one that is very much patient-centered. There's no one treatment that fits everybody. Uh, the patients are so different, and it's really important for us to meet patients where they are. Um, and so that's a real priority to me, is to find out where patients are, what's their priority. Is there, um, some patients come in where pain is a big issue, and we need to address that head on. Uh, other patients are very concerned about their voice or swallowing or appearance, and, and factoring that into the treatment plan is, is critical. One thing that I see a lot of uh, in my practice is HPV-associated cancers. Uh, these are cancers that predominantly affect the uh, tonsil tissue, the throat, base of tongue, and tonsil. These patients tend to be younger, healthier, and have a high standard to meet in terms of maintaining a quality of life in addition to being cured. Patients with HPV-associated throat cancer have a high chance of cure, but they also have a high chance of toxicity from treatment. And so a passion of mine is helping patients with this disease to minimize the long-term toxicities of treatment, understanding that we have a very high chance of cure going in. I'm Neil Gross, and I'm making cancer history.